Hey guys, this is Amber from NotableInk.com and I am with Cut Cardstock today. I was inspired by a couple things for this project. One, I had just done some mini cards for the DIY wedding blog hop and also when I was on the Altenew Instagram hop, Kelly Griglione was also on that hop and she made a flower mini card and I just thought it was the cutest idea. And so I will link her post down below so you can see my inspiration for this came from Kelly. So I just have a piece of A2 size Nina Classic Crest 80 pound solar white cardstock. I have scored it in half and I'm going to stamp this daisy up at the top. The top of the petal is almost going to touch my score line. I'm going to be using the two new Alta New pigment inks here. So there's two different golds. This one is the Enchanted Gold, and it's kind of like the lighter, brighter color. And then for the center of the daisy, I'm going to use Antique Gold. I stamped another flower and just swapped the two inks. So I did the flower in Antique Gold and then the center in Enchanted, just to kind of switch it up a little bit. Um, so I have both of those here, and you can see the difference in the color variation. One is a cool gold, and the other one is a warmer gold. So I'm going to take the die, the coordinating die, and I'm going to set it just right off the top of the edge here. So that's why I stamped it so close to the top of the card. I want that die hanging over just a little bit right over the fold, and this is going to create our folded card. So we've got this little mini card, which I think is just so stinking cute. So when I stamped it, I made sure that I would have two petals at the bottom so that the card would be able to stand up on its own. And so you can see the two cards here. Now, in order to make the envelopes, I have the envelope generator app from We Are Memory Keepers because my little mini cards are not a size that is on the, um, the grid information that you have on the punch board over to the left here. So it's a handy app. You can get it on your phone and just punch in the dimensions that you need and it will let you know what size cardstock you need and what your score line is. So for this, um, I need to cut the cardstock to five and a half, no, five and a quarter, and score at two and five eight. So that's what I'm doing here. And these are really easy to use, these envelope makers, and I just think it's so awesome. This is really only the second time I've used it, but I can see me definitely creating more envelopes in the future here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and round all four corners on this vellum. And again, this vellum is not as thick as like your heavyweight vellum, so it's really easy to fold and score. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, fold those. So also on the DIY wedding hop, I used vellum on that as well, and I love the glue that I found that works really well for this. So I've got the large Nouveau glue pen, and I'm just gonna run that along the outside flap of this envelope and then press it down and you're not even gonna be able to see the adhesive at all when it dries. It is amazing. This is like the best find ever. I was so excited about it. So um, so just press that down and you've it's adhered beautifully. Now, when I go to seal the card, I pro probably just fold the flap in because this will probably just be like a small card that goes with a gift or something like that. I'll either just fold the flap in or you could also put a dot of adhesive just on the inside of that or use a sticker or something like that to close it up. So there you can see the card inside the envelope. And I just think these are the cutest and so quick to make. This was just such a fast project. So you can whip one of these together for like a birthday gift or anything like that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Um, I will have all the supplies listed below as well as on my blog post. So be sure to check those out. Um, and I'll have some more inspiration linked at the end of this. If you haven't subscribed and you like what you see, please consider doing that. And thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great day, you guys.